Okay, these will be some of the items that you'll need to build a mister. It's not a definitive list, but you can pick these up at any hardware store or Amazon.com. So this is a solenoid or a water um, sprinkling system valve. This works perfectly. It's uh, between 24 to 26 volts to turn it on. This will wire in directly into your um, air conditioner. And this is a calcium filter if you need one of those, if you got heavy water. Uh, some PVC cement and primer that you can get again from any hardware store fittings, uh, couplings, elbows, and then this thing um, right here is your your mister. I'll try to zoom in on that. You can get these from Amazon, um, pack of thirty, I think maybe fifteen bucks or something like that. And then also, um, if you want to actually drill these into the the PVC itself, you got to get a ten twenty four um, tap. So I did one of two things. I tried to, to buy the pre-fitted um, PVC, um, what do you want to call these little little things. They already have the holes drilled into them. And I found those, they're just way more expensive. And so if I just bought this and I wanted to see how well, you know, if I just tap these into the PVC, how much better they do. And actually I was quite surprised that they were pretty much the same thing. And I didn't have to pay, I don't know, whatever, eight bucks or whatever it is for um, a set of those. I just drilled it where I wanted it, and I didn't re even really need that. There's a little uh, washer here. I'm sorry, a, a fiberglass uh, rubber gasket or whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't even really need those. The, the threads seemed to seal it right when I screwed it in, so uh, I've been going that route. But my mister has, um, I believe, both of them. But you can use whatever you want, whatever is easier for you. But I just found these to be a cheaper combination with, with using those two. Here's the air conditioner actually in work. Um, this is your path and kind of see how the mist is playing out from the air conditioner with the cooling from the day. all I mean that uh, cold I don't know if you can hear it, but it just seems to be some kind of artifact of the cold thing. Okay, this is a thermal view of the outdoor condenser unit. I used a, a thermal imager to kind of try and capture data on, you know, is this working or is it not working? And so, you get, as you can kind of see, you're panning around the coils themselves or the heat sink, whatever you want to call it. It's about 120 some odd degrees. Uh, the, the blue is the misters with uh, water in them, and right now you can see it's turning on and it's just cooling the hell out of that condenser unit. So this was probably about a, I don't know, 90 degree day, and you can see that the, the, the misters have really knocked down the heat on that condenser unit. So it's pulling in cooler air, which is essentially dropping the power requirement the compressor is uh, requiring to actually cool the, uh, the house. So in a later part of the video, I'll also show you, you know, what the real numbers are and what I'm getting for an efficiency of what this thing's actually doing power-wise. Okay, here's my mister. I can't know if you guys can hear me. It's pretty loud. Um, my condenser unit outside is drawing about 17 and a half amps without the missing nozzles. Working, so this is steady state. About 17 and a half. It's an old air conditioner. It's about 18 years old. So after this one stops working, I'm gonna get a new one. But I'll show you kind of what the difference is between the actual misters being on and misters being off. So roughly about I don't know. Looks like it's going down a little bit. There's a breeze going by. So 17.5, 17.4, somewhere in there. So let me go turn the misters on and I'll continue this. Okay, here I got the misting nozzles all working and my current consumption has dropped almost by a little bit more than two amps. So kind of definitive proof the mister works. It's been on my system for about three years. I've had many problems with the air conditioner unit. It's 18 years old. Uh, it's been working like a charm. 
every once in a while you gotta replace a missing nozzle, but that's about it. Uh, so, if you guys decide to build one, I think you'll be happy with it. But that's all I got. Find the AC mixture. If you haven't had electronics, I guess you can um, sleep for this. So, the basic way we calculate power consumption is power is in simple terms volts times amps. I'm not get, gonna get into all the uh, specifics. The power we have, we're at about roughly 244, 245. And we've seen before we were drawing seven and a half amps, or I'm sorry, 17 and a half amps. The 245 volts is roughly fixed that the power company provides. When you do a kilowatt hour calculation, which is a measurement of power, the, um, the mister, before the mister was put on, it draws roughly 4.287 or say 4.3 kilowatts. That's before the misters come on. Now, if you run the same calculation again, uh, 245 volts, 15 and a quarter amps, your power calculation will now be roughly 3.7 kilowatt hours, and that's after the misters. So the difference between 4.287 and 3.736 is roughly uh, 0.551 kilowatt hours um, per hour, or kilowatts per hour. So you've essentially dropped the power consumption by roughly 500 watts. So now if you want to figure out how much is this going to save you, you know, over a month's time, well, I got a power monitoring system in my house, so I know roughly how much my air conditioner runs, so I run my air conditioner roughly five and a half hours a day. Um, now if you do the math on this, at five and a half hours a day, if I'm saving 0.551 kilowatt hours, or kilowatts per hour, at 30 days, and one month has 30 days, then I will save roughly uh, 91 kilowatt hours. 91 kilowatt hours, and we, we're billed 12 cents a kilowatt hour roughly. Um, over a month's time, we'll save uh, $10 and roughly $11 on the utility bill. And I run my air conditioner roughly six months out of the year, so that's a $66 a year savings. Now, it's, a whole, it's not a whole whopping lot of money, but if you take this into consideration, you run it for say four years, uh, say roughly 60 times four is 240. So you're saving yourself $240 over the time span of six years. Uh, the other thing you have to take into account is how much will your water bill go up? And it's all dependent upon how many misting nozzles you have, um, you know, how much the, the water outputs from the misting nozzle and what your uh, utility or your local area cost is for your water. So I think my misting nozzles do roughly, I don't know, between a quarter to a half a gallon an hour. And so my bill maybe goes up by two to three dollars in the water bill. The other thing that you probably do is do a um, solar, or I'm sorry, a um, water reclamation system where you, you trap the water from your roof, put it in some uh, rain barrels and uh, save yourself the money on the barrels. Of water instead of using it from your um, your domestic water save yourself a couple bucks so your mileage will vary based on the size of your air conditioner how long you run it yada 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 but this is what I've seen for my air conditioner and for me it works for you uh, you'll get different results but hopefully better than mine so that's all we got for this video uh, if you like the link subscribe and let us know what you think thanks